Here's a menu in and out in Santa Rosa from last week. Yes, I actually did take that picture. Prices have gone up since 2004 when the 100 by 100 guy bought his burger in Las Vegas. <laughs> so if he did it now, how much would 100 by 100 cost? Don't worry about tax. Show all of your work and label it clearly so I can tell what you did. Okay, so um, let's first of all figure out what's going on here. Um, 100 by 100, we need to know that that's got one or um, 100 patties and 100 pieces of cheese. Okay. A cheeseburger has one patty and one piece of cheese. So that would be considered a one by one. And that was $2.55. So a double double is $3.70 according to the menu. Okay, double meat, double cheese. So a three by three, if we needed to figure that out, well, we need to know what this growth rate is. So 370 minus 255 is one dollar and fifteen cents so there's my growth rate the growth rate of the cost every time I add a patty and cheese it's a dollar and fifteen so if we added another dollar and fifteen it would be four dollars and eighty five cents for instance well we need to know what how we would do that um, to get to a hundred by hundred we could obviously keep adding until we got to 100, but that would not be very efficient. Okay, a couple ways that we can do this. We could figure out, well, what would a zero by zero cost? Meaning there's no patties and no cheese. We subtract $1.15, we get $1.40. So 100 by 100, it would be the base price plus 100 patties and cheese. Some folks did that. And if you work that out, we get $115 plus $1.40. Get $116.40. Okay. Some other people did this instead, which I thought was interesting. They said, well, I know that a cheeseburger costs $2.55. Okay. An additional patty and cheese costs $1.00 and 15 cents. So a 100 by 100 is a cheeseburger plus 99 more patties and cheese. which would essentially be $2.55 plus 99 times $1.15. And if you work that out, you get $116.40. Okay. I um, wrote this out because I think that shows your work and labels it clearly so I can tell what if a student did this, what they did. Um, up here was kind of my mathematical thinking if I started with the zero by zero. Okay, two different ways to think about the problem. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at number six since it's very related. I'm really hungry and I have $10. I want a chocolate milkshake and the biggest cheeseburger I can buy. Don't worry about tax, I have loose change in my car. Show your work below for full credit. What's the biggest cheeseburger I could buy and how much change do I get back? All right. So we need to use the information that we got from problem five. First thing, I have $10 and I need to subtract the milkshake. So if we look at the menu, a milkshake is $2.30. So if we subtract $2.30, I'm left with $7.70. Okay. 
So let's see. Um, I've got a couple of different ways that I can solve this. You could continue to work out this table until you figure out what is the biggest burger I could buy with $7.70. Okay. Or we could work out an equation. So we'll kind of do it both ways. So we know that a one by one was $2, sorry, and 55 cents. A two by two at a dollar fifteen, three dollars and seventy cents. A three by three at a dollar fifteen. A four by four, dollar fifteen is six dollars. A five by five is going to be seven dollars and fifteen cents. If I go to a oops, sorry about that. If I go to a six by six, it's going to go over the seven seventy. Okay, what is the biggest cheeseburger I can buy? We can answer that now. A five by five. How much change do I get back? Well, seven seventy minus seven dollars and fifteen cents is going to be fifty five cents. Okay, one way to do that problem. The other way is depending on which equation you used, you could use an equation. I'm going to use the equation that said x is the number of patties and cheese. If I start with the base price of $1.40 for a zero by zero, every time I add a patty, it's adding $1.15 to the price. Okay. X is number of patties and cheese. Y is the total cost. So let's see here. My total cost, the amount of money I have is $7.70. I subtract the dollar forty. I get six dollars and thirty cents. And now, whoa, I need to divide six dollars and thirty cents by one dollar and fifteen cents. If I do that division, I get five point four eight. Well, you can't buy five point four eight burgers. So X is number of patties and cheese, so that's a five. So you'd have to interpret that answer as a five by five. And then you would need to figure out how much a five by five costs by plugging it in here. $1.40 plus 1.15 times five. And that will give you $7.15, which is the same as when we used a table. Okay. And then you have to subtract that from the 770. 55 cents would be your change. All right. Way up there. Okay. Two different ways to solve that. We've got a table, or we have solving an equation and then interpreting the answer.